Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now in this video I'm going to be covering basically how to get Capitale in the new update and also doing the first opportunity that Guido Martelli provides to you. So when you load into Red Dead Online, now you will get a message saying to read the letter in your inventory from Guido Martelli and to then go and meet him. I'm not going to talk all the way through this, I'll only talk where I see fit, but this is just a letter that you will get in your inventory and it will be highlighted in gold so that you know to read it. And it says, it is time we talk, I will see you and only you under the pagoda by the theatre Rayla Hiesta Street, St. Denise. This is an opportunity for you, basically. And all you have to do is go and meet him at the location. There will be a golden little icon on your map for you to go and meet him at that location in St. Denis with the locations that I couldn't pronounce. But like I said, it's marked on your map. You don't need to know where it is. You just have to basically go to that icon and he will be there. So, like I said, there's a few different ways that you can actually get Capitale from this update. I will talk about them in a minute, but for first, I think I'll just let you guys watch the cutscene and the intro to this new part of Red Dead Online. Hmm. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with a value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them, we will not be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ritard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work about his grand plans to make Des Moines the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on, Ritard. Excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, Signor... Signor Martelli, do not speak I, my name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I on did. Your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. Ah. Where did you steal it? Now, I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? R from some of the Cornwall's boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough, don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find bills like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of capitale taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, Senator Ricard. But that is for later. I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capital to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia.
Secretary Lake. You're in luck. Just got a new lead. Got a new opportunity. Might even be some capital A involved. Capital A just about everywhere these days. Hell, I got some myself. <laughs> Risky business these days getting from one place to another. And certain kinds of people got more to lose than others. I ain't talking no legitimate businessmen neither. I'm talking common crooks on the lam. Running from old John Law on account of the dollars they stole. And running from Senor Martelli on account of the Capitale. Now I leave the law to handle their own affairs. As for the rest, that's where you catch up to them. So, as you can see, there are a few different people you can go to to get these various missions that will allow you to earn Capitale. Now, as I said, there's a couple of different ways, but this is pretty, this is the free way to earn this new currency that basically then um, allows you to unlock the opportunities later on. There is a couple of different ones and they're all very easy. Um, I could do them on my own, but with a posse they would be more fun. With, with these clips, please forgive any sort of weird movements or me looking around because it does say to look for chests. I haven't actually been able to find any of the chests or actually any capital on anyone I've looted yet. So I'm going to be going through and looking for all those locations um, and it will be really interesting to actually see where they are. But it's also, um, if there's any weird movement, it might be because I haven't played Red Dead Online recently because of the lack of content. So yeah, this is was uh, my first sort of getting back into it thing. So yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting to see how these missions play out. As I said, they're all fairly simple to do on your own. I would recommend having plenty of health tonics on you though for certain parts of certain missions. But they're different and they're interesting. So yeah, I'll let you guys see how this plays out and then I will talk again in a little bit.
Here, okay, just take it. Please, someone, I need help. Just got a new lead. Got a new opportunity. Might even be some capitale involved. So from what I hear, you and my old friend Jeb Phelps got yourselves all acquainted. Ain't that nice? Nah, nah, I don't mean nothing by it. You play it right. That stash of Capitale his old gang been sitting on is ours. One of the boys he's used to running with is holding out up at Butcher's Creek. Take him to Jeb alive. Jeb will find out where that stash is before you can say hot poker. Then all we gotta do is collect. You know what to do.
Now, I want to pause here real quickly and just mention how much that didn't go to plan. I tried to get on that horse, but he just didn't want any of it. And I was assuming uh, that I would have to kill people, but my build is always um, for horseback, and I prefer fire, you know, shooting him out from horseback. So I was trying to get on him, but he wasn't having any of it because of the sheer amount of enemies. Now, something I want to mention is the fact that once the gang member arrives, is there will be so many enemies and they just don't stop coming. There was just so many and I would get to like two or three left and then a whole load of new ones would spawn. You do actually have to chase after the gang member as soon as he arrives. There is no point in trying to kill all of the gang members, which is what I was trying to do because in, normally in situations like this, I'll deal with the gang members and then hogtie the one that is required. However, he will take off on horseback, albeit very slowly, and he doesn't get very far. But yeah, you'll see here the target has arrived, and I decided to cut out me shooting the remaining enemies here, and actually just show me catching up to him and taking him ready for the end of the mission. about those goddamn capitale isn't it let me go damn it now, before we get on to actually doing that first opportunity that Guido offers you, I want to show you the other way that you can actually get Capitale, and that is actually by going to the fence and purchasing it. Now, as you will see, there is two different options, and they both cost gold bars. Now, I decided to buy them purely to see what would happen with it, because I like to test things when new updates come out, and to me, I'm not worried about losing a few gold bars. However, you, like I said, you can earn it in the those missions and get it for free and I don't really after testing it see much point in buying it really apart from unless you're like me and you wanted to get through and do those opportunities ASAP. However you will also notice that at the fence they now have the option to buy the various um, extensions for amounts of ammo, the ammo pouches for things like the repeater, um, for your bolt action, for your shot pump action shotgun, all of that is now available at the fence. They were previously only available in the Outlaw Pass but they are available at the fence as is the ability to um, fast travel from your wilderness camp. However let's now get into the first opportunity mission. Wind of some work needs doing. Might even find some capitale along the way. Word is, Senor Martelli has a new opportunity. All you need is the capitale. You follow this capitale business to the top, it ends up looking mighty political. Dangerous thing to meddle in. You're going to make some powerful enemies on this road. Well, looks like Martelli will have his monopoly back under control in no time. Thanks to you. He sent you this. Hope it was worth it.
Senator Ricard. You recall we spoke of him? The man who has so foolishly been trying to make his reputation at the expense of my employer. He wishes to put himself and his beloved Lemoyne in the headlines of next year's Centennial State Fair in Sacramento. And he has devised quite the centerpiece. Three of the world's most famous jewels brought together for a single exhibit. Except we will ensure they never meet. One by one, as they are taken west, you will find them, you will procure them, and if you value my friendship as highly as you should, you will bring them to me. Today's prize, the Covington Emerald. It was found some years ago on the island of Guadalupe and procured by Mr. Luther Covington, the steel magnate. Like all your philanthropists, Mr. Covington is hungry for publicity. So he was only too happy to offer his prized jewel to the state's fair. It is traveling west by train under the protection of the San Denis Police Department. You should expect the area to be under very careful guard. Though I recommend that you speak to the station clerk. He is a man who is keen to help our organization. Now I'm going to use this opportunity whilst we ride over to the ambush checkpoint to talk about a couple of things to do with this mission. So obviously there, there are a couple of conversations you can listen into, which you could see by the little white icons on the map. So it also mentioned that you could talk to a train station clerk. We didn't do that. We just listened to that little bit of intel. It told us that there was an ideal ambush point up ahead. And so we decided to go for that. Now at the ambush point, there is a horse and wagon on the sides of the track, which you can move onto the track. Kind of similar if you've ever done trade route, you will see those wagons on the track that stop the train. So we thought, of course, pull that out in front of the train and the train should stop and then we can ambush it. However, once we did that, the train failed to stop. So that's why it may look a little bit rushed and you may also hear the, the horses, unfortunately, being hit by the train. But we thought it was quite strange that the train didn't stop when it was very clearly put there for that purpose. It was even at the right angle to go across the track and make it a stop point for the train. So whether that is uh, not working quite as intended or whether it's just kind of put there to make you think the train will stop, um, I don't know. But it does seem like it was put there to make the train stop. Like I said, it's exactly the same as what you will see in the trade route free roam event that you can do. And they are stopping the train every time. So it will be really, really interesting to see if in future that actually ends up stopping the train. But you can see here, you've got the, uh, the wagon being pulled by the two horses. And we moved it onto the tracks, assuming it would stop the train in similar ways that we've done before. But unfortunately, that did not happen. So unfortunately, this uh, section ended up being a little bit more rushed than we intended. So I just wanted to explain that in case, uh, in case you guys wondered what actually went on there. But other than that, it's a very, very simple mission. All you have to do is basically come to this point, wait, the train will come by, you jump on the train, shoot a few coppers, grab the jewel, jump back off, and then ride to a point. It's basically no different to any other stranger mission that you will have done. Um, it's kind of a little bit underwhelming, honestly, 
Um, but I would recommend doing it and going and trying it out if you haven't yet. Um, but yeah, like I said, a little bit underwhelming. However, I will now shut up and let you guys see the end of the mission.
Uncle Covington's face when he hears about this would be just as priceless. We will work together again soon. I'm certain of it. 